The first, um, the first award tonight is uh, for an honorary townsman, and it's uh, Stephen Glover. This basically is for your work with uh, Greenfield Sports Association. Combination. A combination of that and hockey and Grove various school. other things. This Grove School, you name it, it's with it. So, in recognition of that, Stephen, well done. And the next one. Honorary townsperson, who is this? Mike Smith. <laughs> is he here? For those of you that don't know, for the past, how long? Uh, what, the Dominion Cryo Island? Oh, easy. Yeah. Uh, well, the Cryo started in 2005. Right. So since 2005, Mike's been running what we call the Drayton Cryer which has given Facebook a few headaches. Uh, it's also been a really good communication tool for those of us that are on the internet or have these horrible things called mobile phones. Um, that and editing it and developing the site and also uh, getting the radio station going and running little discos here and there, I think he's done a, a marvelous job, all voluntary, well done. All, all those who've had these uh, medals presented, of course, have got to attend all, all church services that the council put on. I'll tell you that, you would. Not right. if you're not invited. <laughs> I was looking for it there. Right. And the last one, um, Tim Beckett. Where's Jim? Tim of 10k fame. And for once, he hasn't got a track suit on. <laughs> well, Tim, um, I think mainly, I'll give you that. Congratulations, and uh, thank you for organising the best 10k race there is in the UK. Uh, fully recognised and all the rest of it. And I understand it's booked up now for next year, and possibly the year after. Yeah. Yeah, a few places for local runners, so anyone local wants to get in, we'll get so in. An awful lot of work goes into that, so um, this is our way of recognising that on your behalf. Thank you very much. I'm now going to hand you over to this gorgeous woman here. Oh, <laughs> Our Val's going to show us a video and then uh, we'll start the presentations. Yeah, we, we've actually got Mike and Malcolm Smith here that have done a video for us for tonight. Uh, they'll also be videoing the proceedings here tonight uh, and it will go out live. It will be on Facebook later on June. <laughs> and the earlier, the one you're going to watch now has already been on there. So here we go.
Tonight you've seen what we see every year. Fantastic gardens, beautiful flowers, and we don't go back to the office and sort of sit there and say, well, who's won? It is a matter of arguing and carrying on, and we, we do argue, and so many times we all come up with the same amount of points. It's very difficult because there's so many beautiful, beautiful gardens out there, and they all belong to, to you. You've done a fantastic job, and I want to thank you again for all your support again this year, as we've gone through many, many others, and we've all been together, and it's great. Now, I'd also like to thank um, Jamie Plimlet that actually came out with us to do the judging on the first day, uh, and Jane Jones was the other one, myself. And then for the pubs and the clubs and the rest of it, Mike Smith and Malcolm came with me. Uh, and of course, then the video come on board. So they've done that for us. And as you can see at the back of the room, I'm not talking about Dave Irwin. <laughs> There's some beautiful, beautiful pictures there. If any of you want those pictures of your garden, please take them and keep them forever. Right, now I'm going to carry on and give the awards out. Well, I'm not going to give the awards out, Roy is. Okay, but I'll have to put my glasses on because I can't see. We've got a thunderstorm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, you are my to work this for me. He's given me this gadget to work what's going on behind me and I'm useless with technology. Right. We'll go straight on to the awards now. And the best front garden goes to Elizabeth Barnes. Now I believe Ken Woods is coming up to pick Elizabeth's. Yeah, well done. <laughs> you get the easy job, Ken. <laughs> um, this garden, uh, I don't think I've ever seen one like it in market written before. We went into it, we turned around and looked behind us, the front, and it, it's absolutely amazing. It goes right the way up. You can't see it as you're coming into it, but when you get in it, we walk round the back, and the her garden is not that big. It's not a big, huge garden, but she's got a stairway coming down from the patio doors down into the, the garden below, where she's got rows. It's well, it's like Grecian, isn't it? Absolutely. Well, we were absolutely amazed. It was beautiful. And she's well deserved that, honestly. I've never seen anything like this. It was such a small garden. So give her our congratulations. She, she, she would just like to say, by the way, she's sorry she can't be here, but she's away. Oh. And she's really miffed. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, she sends her love and best wishes to everybody and congratulations on her behalf. Beautiful. Yes. Now the next lady to win <laughs> is Maureen Bailey, who came second. Come on, Maureen. <laughs> You're not using that shy. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Maureen lives in a bungalow of Goosefields. <coughs> Well, it's, it's amazing. I'll tell you about her back garden after. <laughs> and third is Julie Clack. Where is she? I've already explained to Julie about her garden and what I thought of it. Absolutely tremendous. She does a fantastic job, year in, year out. One of these years, 
You're going to take that prize, kid. I hope so. <laughs> oh, thank you. Now, highly commended. First is Ken Phillips. Now, Ken had a fall last week and is very, very poorly in hospital. But we're all right. We've got Maureen to come up and pick his prizes up for him. So can you come and get Ken's Maureen, please? <laughs> Pardon? Right. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Just said that Ken can now sit up. He hasn't broken the vertebrae that they thought he had. So he's now sitting up and he's. Oh, he had broken it. Yeah, but he's now sitting up. So he'll be back with us next year. As sure as ours is. Um, highly recommended also is Brian Bowen. There's Brian. An immaculate garden. Yeah, yeah. An immaculate garden, beautifully done. I can't pick fault with it for one minute. <laughs> the lawn is cut immaculate, the edges are done. He can come to mine next year. Um, and Gwen Worms, is she here? Is she? Come on, Gwen. You get highly commended. When is this the photo up there that is covered? It is, she lives in a bungalow, not a very big one, on Norman Brook Court there. Absolutely stunning front garden. I don't know where she gets the time or energy to do it from. Um, and also highly recommended is Stan and Joan Turnbull. They are here, I've seen them. <laughs> so neat. And I know what Stan uses on his potatoes now. <laughs> Salt. <laughs> And commended goes Arthur Jones and Fred Steele. I don't think they're here, are they? No. No. Next one, the best back garden. Once again, this goes to Elizabeth Bonds. Come on, Ken. <laughs> I've said it all before, and I'm not going to say it again. <laughs> You think you've walked into Buckingham Palace, I'm telling you. <laughs> Lovely. It was there. It was there. Second again, poor old Julie Clack. <laughs> You've got nothing to be ashamed of. For the second. There she is, that's. Elizabeth Barnes in the garden. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry. There's Julie's garden. Not a bad little garden, is it? She does a cracking job on it. Lovely. And third, Ken Phillips again. Do you want to come up again, Maureen, or do you want to pile them up? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Highly commended is Stan and Joan Tur Turnbull again. The one that uses soot on his potatoes. <laughs> well, I think it's his potatoes. <laughs> Well, 
Well done, Stan, that veg garden and that was so beautiful. Next one is Maureen Bailey. Would you like to come up again, Maureen? She doesn't go to Weight Watchers anymore, Maureen. She comes here, <laughs> gets her exercise. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Maureen. Next one is Brian Bowen. Well done, Brian. And the next one is Michael Weaver. Well done, Bill. He is very cool to his dog. I'll tell everybody in the world now, he doesn't allow the dog on his lawn. How rotten is that? <laughs> uh, and commended goes Arthur Jones and Fred Steele again. They're not here. Right. Now the best patio uh, goes to Ken Phillips. So... Can you get him to come up again? <laughs> there he is, look, sitting in the toilet. Move on. As you can see, well, you can only see half of his patio there, but the rest is absolutely stunning. Uh, second place goes to Elizabeth Barnes. Come on, Ken. Now, that, that's sort of part of the patio at the top there, but, you know, that's it. Absolutely stunning it was. Um, and third, Julie Clack. <laughs> well done, Julie. Thank you very much. If you get a spare hour, you can come to my house next year and do mine. <laughs> next one is the best water garden. And that goes to Elizabeth Barnes again. <laughs> now the best vegetable and garden allotment goes to, now you'll all be very surprised with this, David Rollinson. <laughs> You'll be able to see David's beans on here and that's just a little small part of it. Uh, there's, the hedgerows are actually made out of uh, uh, raspberry plants, gooseberry bushes, there's all sorts of fruit along the outside of his garden, which is the hedge. Stunning, absolutely stunning. And second goes to Stan and Joan Turnbull. He uses soot. <laughs> environmental friendly garden. This will surprise you too. It's Trish Dawson. We have all sorts of guys. <laughs> well done Trish. 
She has certainly looked after all the insects and everything else. <laughs> Second one, Julie Clack. And Arthur Jones from Jake Second. As you can see, there's Arthur. Not Julie. <laughs> and third, Michael Weaver. Now this is an, oh I always love this one, the best group of dwellings. They all get het up and worked up over this, you know, and cause fights. <laughs> the first one, well it's joint first this year, it's Goose Fields and Manor Gardens Longslow Road. Are they here? Yeah, Maureen, come and pick up Goose Fields, because you entered it, didn't you? Yeah. Is anybody from Manor Gardens, Lonslow Road? No. Well, it looks as if you're going to keep that trophy all year then, but are you? Don't forget, Maureen, you've got to share it. Yes. <laughs> I have problems with her, you know. They're not here. Well, that's it. You keep it. <laughs> <laughs> and second, Norman Brook Court, and I know they're all here tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. Best hanging basket. Number one, Maureen Bailey. <laughs> if you're wondering, Maureen, which one actually won it, it was a black and yellow one, round the back. Yeah, <laughs> it's black and yellow in with it somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. Maureen's was the one with the horse painted on the shed door as well. Um, second, Elizabeth Barnes. Third is Ken Phillips. <laughs> you shouldn't have offered to do this job for Ken, you know. Commended Brian Bowen with the neatest garden I've ever seen. <laughs> he must use scissors on his lawn, this lad. <laughs> well done, Brian. <laughs> yeah, will do. <laughs> and highly commended Mick Weaver. Well done, Mick. Well done. Uh, commended Fred Steele, Julie Clack. <laughs> and Arthur Jones, but the office is not here. No, 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 not that one. It's not here. 
get the next one. Okay. Best small business. It's all right, he's not here, so we'll skip on that one. Best small business. First, the crown. Macaria. Oh, they've sent him. They got the guard there. Oh gosh. <laughs> Well, you can't say that I realised he was the Ed Gardner. Yeah, <laughs> <Didn't. yeah. laughs> well done, Dave. <laughs> Second, the Salopian Star. Where is he? He is. <laughs> Don't worry. You haven't failed at all, my boy. <laughs> And third, the Red Lion. Yeah, okay. Are you the Red Lion? No. Highly commended, quick save. Best large business. And that first went to the Red Lion because they not only have the pub, they have the brewery behind it. So they got first. Are they, they're not here though, are they? No. And second goes to Pale Forbes. Do you want to come and get it, Dave? It's not a fix, honest, it's not. <laughs> now here we go. The best licensed premises. Goes to the one and only Salopian Star. Well done, Stuart. <laughs> yeah. Well done, love. <laughs> See, you haven't failed. <laughs> Second, the crown. Come on, Dave. <laughs> Thank God. Yes, thank you. Lovely. And joint third is the Royal British Legion and the Red Lion. Let's <laughs> take the... And neither of them have done anything to win it. <laughs> Highly commended the choose a house, but they had a bit of an accident with theirs. Um, I had them all knocked down with all the flowers, so you know. Anyway, next is be <coughs> best business hanging basket. <coughs> Who goes to the Salopian Star again? <laughs> well done, Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> you like this, don't you? The second, Red Lion, who won't hear. And third, The Crown. Very nice. Now this next one is for a hanging basket, but it is the best hanging basket overall. This includes both categories. And it goes to Maureen Bailey. <laughs> this woman can do hanging baskets like nobody else. Honestly, they're brilliant, year in, year out. Well done, Maureen. Sorry, 
Now we come to the schools. Now, I love doing the schools, judging them. They're all so different, but, oh, the kids are so enthusiastic. It's brilliant. And this year, once again, it is the Market Drayton Junior School. That's great. Okay. That's machine. That's lovely. Yep. I have only one thing to say. Every time I pinch a gooseberry from their school, it's always sour. If someone else picks me one, they're lovely and sweet, but if I pick it myself and pinch one, it's sour. I think they've got one over on me there. <laughs> they are absolutely brilliant, those children. The enthusiasm behind it. I hope you continue when you're as old as me and you all have beautiful gardens. Now second is Hodnett Primary School. Are they here? Is Hodnett here? <laughs> Yeah. And third, the growth. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm sorry about that. The Hodnick School. Sorry. That's fine. You take the prize. <laughs> well done. Um, was there an envelope there? Oh. And third goes to the Grove. Did I say that? Yeah, no, not too. <laughs> now, this is the biggest award I think anybody can ever have for our gardens and our in blue. It's a special achievement award. And a few years ago, someone in this room entered the competition. And we went round, and it was all right. It was quite nice. The next year we went round, and it was better. And this year, he was determined to win this. And the enthusiasm behind him. He's a landlord, but he has so much. He spends all the time in his garden. He, he grows all his own plants. He does all his planters himself. He does the lot. And the improvement in that back of his pub at the moment is, is fantastic. What a wonderful man he is and an asset to this town. Come on, Stuart Hunt. <laughs> I'm sure he put his heart on this a few years ago, you know, because he's so enthusiastic. There you go. Oh, thanks so much indeed. Well done. Thank you. Well, that wasn't expected at all. 
No, I know it wasn't. Kids, nobody tells you about that, do they? Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> he's planning for next year now. Well done. Well done now, last but not least, is a town council uh, award that we give to the best public building. You don't have to enter it, we just decide which is the best public building and which has been maintained the best with flowers, etc. And this year, ladies and gentlemen, it goes to the Beacon, I was going to say Youth Centre then. <laughs> it was in my day. Yeah, the Beacon Centre. Come on, George. This year they loads and loads of alterations to that garden. It looks beautiful. Well done. It really does. It's stunning. Do you want your photo took, you? No. Oh. <laughs> You're not telling me you haven't been laying slabs. <laughs> oh, well, tell her to come over. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Well done, George. Right, that comes the, to the end of the awards. Uh, what I'm going to do now is, if you give me five minutes, we'll shove some food on the table, and I want you all to help yourselves. Once again, thanks so much. Uh, Can I just ask that the prize winners all gather in a little group? Just in the centre here, and we'll have a little photo shoot. Okay, thank you very much.